Does she know how iconic you are? Like, has she ever gone on the YouTube for your performances and seen, the, like... The kids have recently been going on YouTube a lot. Um, because I let them have some time on TikTok, I, newlyweds started popping up. Is this chicken what I have, or is this fish? <laughs> and they're like, hey, who is this guy that you're with? And I was like, oh, that's the past. Mom was married before. Uh, Dad was married before, so it's easier to explain, but um, they love watching clips of the newlyweds just because they like to make fun of me. They're like, you would do that today, Mom. <laughs> you came with your oldest daughter. She's I so did. gorgeous. Is she taller than you? She is about to be taller than me. I mean, it's a given. If you breed with a NFL player, <laughs> like you're definitely going to have big babies. And Jessica gushed over their close mother-daughter bond. Maxwell, she just has this energy about her that is like ageless and I open up to her way too much. I treat her like a best friend way too much. Three kids later, married life with Eric has been good to Jessica. Next year will be their 10 year wedding anniversary. Was it love at first sight? It was love at first sight. It was infatuation at first sight and there was something so peaceful and gentle about him that I had never experienced in a man. And I felt protected and safe with him. How would you say it coming up on 10 years to reflect back, what's the key? I mean, I feel like a lot of people say the key is communication, but it's also communication as friends. Yeah. Like, I think you have to be best friends, but it is good to keep the romance there, even with three kids on top of our head. Yeah. It's hard, but he'll leave me little, notes because he'll wake up earlier than me. There's a lot of things like, mm, I can't wait to get my hands on him later. <laughs> and now it's like our kids are so old. It's like, wow, they're going to walk in on hanky panky time. <laughs> when you came famous in the 2000s, you were under a lot of scrutiny for any evolution any of your everything. body. How did you navigate that? Do you pass that on to your kids? Well, you now my kids see me being still scrutinized and it's very confusing to them because they're like, well, I don't even understand yeah. this. Like I, why don't they just say you look pretty, mom? You know, I wish I could say for me that it's gotten better, but it still remains the same. And I don't know why, but it's okay because honestly, for the Jessica Simpson collection, it's been a beautiful thing because I have been every size. I do understand everybody and every woman and their mentality and how deserving they are yes. of fashion and style. Jessica not only channeling the noise around her body into her brand, but also her parenting style. I tell my kids, how you feel about yourself is how you should feel. 100%. You don't dress for anybody else. Truly, like you don't have to be any other size. Nope. You're comfortable. You stay comfortable. You be you. I think that more than weight that people have focused on, we need to focus on our mentality about even talking about weight. hundred percent. I think it just doesn't need to be a conversation. Everybody talks about, ooh, I shouldn't eat this many calories. I shouldn't, and my kids are like, what's calories? Yes. I try to not complain about myself in front of them. I try to not diet. They just see me living a, a healthy lifestyle. That's why I quit drinking. Like, I was like, okay, they're gonna pick up on everything I do, so I gotta be a good role model. If I can be that for the world, I gotta be it for my kids. Jessica brought her oldest daughter, Maxwell, and her dog, Penny, with her to celebrate International Dog Day. Tell me about your partnership with PetSafe. PetSafe is a beautiful partnership that I feel so blessed to be a part of because really it's just about keeping dogs happy, healthy. If you were a dog, Jessica, what would you be? If I was a dog, my children have said I would be a corgi because <laughs> I have short arms and a long body. And a great caboose. <laughs> they have my favorite caboose. They do have a good caboose, I will say. <laughs>